you are, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation following. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear God, please bless our elected officials. Grant them the wisdom to know and the courage to do what is right for all citizens. Amen. 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 Roll call, please. Allen? Here. Green? Here. LaFour? Here. Mistrovich? Here. Rindell? Here. Ricks? Here. Warren? Here. Good to see everybody here tonight. We move on to approval of minutes for the City Council meeting that was held on January 16th. Is there a motion? Motion. Support. Most been made and supported. Is there any discussion on those minutes? Being that, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to audience comments and any non-agenda items. If anybody would like to address the council, now would be the time. We will move on. Adoption of agenda, Mr. City Manager, any changes? I have no changes to no changes to the agenda, but I did place a new replacement mem number four on the table for you tonight that does include the motions. City Council, any changes? Be it not a motion except the agenda as presented would be in order. So moved. Support. Most of main support. Any discussion? Be it not, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to consent agenda. Is there a motion? Make a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Support. What's been made in support? There's no discussion on the motion. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. All right, we move on to items for consideration, which we have seven this evening. The first one being consideration of introduction and first reading of ordinance number 156-17, the rezoning of 68225 Main Street from PSP to B2. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to give introduction and first reading to Ordinance 156-17, uh, which would rezone approximately half an acre of property from public semi-public to B2 downtown business. This is rezoning the property we commonly refer to as Old City Hall. Uh, it had this public uh, zoning due to the fact that it was our, our city hall and needs to be rezoned to the B2 downtown business so it conforms with the rest of the block. Uh, this also went to the Planning Commission at their January 12th meeting uh, and they approved forwarding it to Council for your consideration. Thank you. Is there a motion before discussion? I'll make a motion to introduce and give first reading of ordinance 156-17 which amends the official uh, zoning map and changes the zoning of the property located at 68225 Main Street from public semi-public to B-2 downtown business. Support. What's been made and supported? Is there any discussion? Pretty much what we had talked about in workshop. Just natural move from public since we no longer use the facility. I do have a question though. Mm -hmm. With it being designated as historic commercial in that area, would that preclude anybody from demolishing it and putting a new building no. there if they wanted to? No. We don't have that type of historic okay. Uh, okay. preservation ordinance in our ordinances, our zoning. Okay. Yeah. okay. Anything from the audience? This will, if approved tonight, come back at your next meeting for second reading and adoption. If nothing else, all in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number two is consideration of Bit Award Park and Grove Street Overlay Project. Mr. City Manager. City Council is scheduled to consider <laughs> awarding the Park and Grove Street Overlay Project for construction to begin in the spring of 2017. The scope of work is to mill and overlay Park Street from Ridge to Main and overlay Grove Street from Monroe to Park. Uh, the work on Park will include uh, pavement repairs and structure adjustments. Uh, the low bidder is Aztec Asphalt, who did the tennis courts last summer for us. And uh, Jim has scheduled a public information meeting on Tuesday, March 28th at the Community Center for those residents on those streets. Thank you. Is there a motion? I make a motion to award the Park and Grove Overlay Project to Aztec Asphalt in the amount of 
$817.50 with the expenses charged to the appropriate line items within the local street and major street funds. Support. Most been made and supported. Any discussion? Just curious why the seventy-two thousand dollars difference from <laughs> top. To, I mean, did they miss something on the bid? I mean, well, what the hell of a lot of money leaving usually, the table. You know? Usually, what we've been finding since you've been uh, gone from us for a few years here, we're finding people that really don't want the job bid is that high. What it is? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> uh, they'll take it if we're willing yeah. to pay that kind of money. But luckily, our charter says we must take the low bid long as it's a good company. <laughs> <Right>. So, <laughs> yeah, there's quite bids, a spread too. there. <laughs> <laughs> and there was eight bids. Yeah, that's there what I mean. There was there wasn't just a couple. It's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, looking through the bid sheet. Is, I mean, everything look like it's there. Like that's a lot of money. And I'm sorry again. Who uh, did they do our tennis courts? That uh, company. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. And they are road people. Yes. Uh, Jim. Yeah. And they are road. They people. are. And as far as the project goes, this is a pretty straightforward project. This is much easier really if as far as technicality than a tennis court would be okay okay any other discussion any audience comments back to the table all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye aye, aye, aye. against motion does pass Item number three is consideration of bid award Bailey Park baseball diamond upgrades. Mr. City Manager. The City Council is scheduled to consider awarding the Bailey Park ball diamond upgrade project. Uh, the bids were received on January 31st. Uh, the project includes the removal and replacement of the existing fences and dugouts. Um, the uh, project would normally go to TIFA, uh, but as we've discussed as we went through and had council and TIFA and rec board uh, approve kind of the layout and design of this project. We, our goal is to try and get the, get it done as soon as possible this spring. So at their last meeting, uh, TIFA did approve having council uh, do the bid award to try and, if at all possible, help the timeline. And so uh, the low bidder was Wing Construction. Uh, they are currently doing the work down at Henry Ford. Very good. Is there a motion? May a motion to award the Bailey Park Ball Diamond Upgrades project to Wing Construction amount of $48,130 with the expense charged to the TIFA fund. Support. What's been made and supported? Discussion. The only other thing I forgot to mention uh, to kind of control costs, we did have our DPW uh, scheduled to do the demo work and they are in the process of, I think the one on BB Street, that dugout is gone and they're pretty much uh, finished with the one on uh, Washington Street. Very good, very good. And also, uh, one of the things that keeps on coming up when people have heard uh, what we're doing from uh, seeing this in previous meetings talking about this is drainage. Those who have used that facility, you know, big problem with drainage there. Why are you putting the brand new diamond up if you're not doing the drainage? But we are doing the drainage. DPW right. is handling all of that, and uh, it's been basically engineered to uh, be drained properly, correct? Correct, yeah. Very good, very good. Yeah, TIFA went over this quite a bit at their last meeting and hammered this out. That's why we're comfortable sending it here at the TIFA board. So they're all on board with it, too. We appreciate them sending it to us so we can get award the bid, get things rolling as city manager. So. And also, uh, Jim did a great job. Um, the, the estimate came in. His estimate uh, uh, almost mirrored what the, yeah. the actual mm -hmm. costs were. Mm -hmm. uh, and you had uh, three bids uh, um, within what? Eighteen hundred dollars each other, so yeah. so so a nice job, Jim. Yeah, it's going to be a nice nice fix up for us over there. Absolutely. Any other discussion? Any comments? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against. Motion does pass. Item number four is consideration of special event request, Michigan Junk Teaks. Council is scheduled to review two special event requests from Michigan Junk Teaks to hold uh, the following special events, the first being Junk in the Trunk Vintage Market and the second being the Richmond Rummage and Relic Sale. Uh, Kathy Osbold with Michigan Junk Teaks is here tonight. Uh, she did the Michigan or the uh, Richmond Rummage and Relic Sale last year. Uh, she's kind of expanding to two events, one in April, a one-day event in April, and then a two-day event in July. Uh, the first one, uh, the Junk in the Trunk Vintage Market, would be Saturday, April 29th from 9 to 5. She would request that Friday, 
April 28th uh, should be allowed to uh, use the parking lot to start setting up. Uh, and then uh, the Richmond Rummage and Relic Sale would be Friday, July 28th and Saturday, July 29th. And she would like to start kind of setting things up in the parking lot that Thursday night. So uh, she's here tonight to answer any specific questions you have on them. Uh, the one kind of major change from last year, uh, the events last year, is that uh, instead of closing, uh, what is that, Monroe Street, uh, they're not closing Monroe, but asking for the use of the municipal parking lot to have the vendors in there. <coughs> and allow the people to kind of flow around on the streets and also use the on-street parking. Uh, she would encourage her vendors to use the city parking lot on Forest uh, once they've dropped off their wares uh, at the municipal parking lot. Um, one thing that she did provide tonight for us is a letter that she would also be sending out to the business community, uh, to all the businesses in town talking about the event. So uh, with that, I'll turn it over to Council and Kathy. Good. Kathy, address Council. Mm -hmm. Yep, um, here I'm back again. Um, the event last year, I believe, went pretty well. I guesstimating about maybe 5,000 people those two days. Um, I did really well um, in my shop, which is part of the intent, but also bringing people um, to Richmond that normally wouldn't be there. And I know that we had people from Canada, Bloomfield Hills, Farmington Hills, but basically all over. Uh, so like to do that again uh, April looking at just a one-day event because of the weather but it's also a good time to have a vintage market because people are just dying to get back out there and start their mm -hmm. their junk in their grad sailing so um, that's why the early in April but those tend to do very well um, junk in the trunk basically what that's going to be is an opportunity for anybody to pull basically what it says they can pull up with their car open their trunk and get rid of their junk so there will be partly the I would like to have part of the parking lot for that kind of like a flea market and then partly a vintage market again like you had seen um, at good old days and then again at uh, the Richmond rummage and relic I've had a lot of people come to me I hope you're gonna make this an annual event and I said, well, let's see if we can do it again. So here I am, and I have reached out um, to Teresa and Al about the use of the parking lot, just kind of seeing if they had anything going on, which they do, of course. But I think it's something that is workable with what I'm doing and then with what they're having with that. Very good. All right. Is there any questions while we have Kathy up? Rain or shine, correct? Oh, yes, absolutely. Rain or shine, no other dates. Not, I, I Keep it simple. Yeah. Yep. Keep it simple. Okay. Is there going to be any need for uh, restrooms or anything? There might be. I mean, that would be a nice thing to add, mm -hmm. you know, and that's something that, you know, I would obviously uh, talk to you all about and who you use uh, for good old days and that. But that would probably be, I did kind of insert in here food trucks, and I had discussion with John about that. And reason being, uh, it just kind of gives a little bit different flair. It would be something I would not want to um, conflict with the other businesses, restaurants in town. It would be things that would be different. Like uh, the one person that I've already talked to that is interested, they do crepes. And they like doing vintage markets. So it would be something that would be just a little different, a little bit of flavor. And, of course, then they would be in that parking lot along with everybody else. Uh, not set in stone just figured I would throw that out there uh, again just a different flavor for that um, anything else that would probably enhance I would welcome any ideas or like that like with the restrooms and that um, I did reach out to Alan and Teresa about if they would like to actually maybe have some beverages mm -hmm. or food you know please let me know we can incorporate that because we're right there so mm -hmm. and that yeah, yeah absolutely Okay, we all set. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you. Is there a motion? Make a motion to approve Michigan Junk Teak special event request to close the municipal parking lot for the junk in the trunk and vintage market event from Friday, April 28th at 5 p.m. through Saturday, April 29th at 7 p.m. Support. What's been made and support? Is there any discussion? Another great, hopefully, it works out. Hopefully you get the weather. It's it's a funny time of year. Probably better than what you had last year with the, what was it, about 110 degrees out there. Oh, it was warm. <laughs> here's the thing, it didn't keep the fires away. Yeah. I had vendors that didn't come because of the weather. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was, um, all in all, it was a nice event. Oh, yeah. Yeah, great. Any other comments? Any other comments from the public? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We also have another motion for the July dates. Is there a motion? I make a motion to approve Michigan Junctique special event request to close the municipal parking lot for the Richmond Rummage and Relic event from Thursday, July 27th at 5 p.m. through Saturday, July 29th at 7 p.m. Support. Motion made and support. Any discussion on this item? I'd like to talk about the restroom possibility. I, I, would that be something TIFA could possibly? It's in, a, it's in the TIFA district. It's in our municipal parking lot. Um, it is a couple days long. I, I'm just because that was a question mm -hmm. I had was where do people go to the bathroom mm -hmm. over there? My place of business. Okay, so okay. There was, you know, there are restaurants and things like that. People do use the restaurants and then they can use those facilities. But then again, I do think it would be a good idea. If you. Being last year was his first year and, and, and it was busy, but it wasn't that busy. This has the potential of being, being huge. huge. Um, Certainly, as we've seen in our discussions with the, the ball fields at the workshop, mm -hmm. yeah. the, Brendel's usually work with us to mm -hmm. give us a pretty decent rate. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we yeah. could work something out if, oh, yeah. if the council wants the direct administration to work with Kathy on that. We, we certainly could to find out what the price would be. Council's pleasure on that? Please. Yes. yes. Direct the administration to, I, I assume we were working. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think, was there some involvement with TIFA last year yes, in the Correct. marketing yep. of in the, the marketing? Yes. Yeah. So I would hope on the same yeah. token we're going to work yeah, like with I the said, Osbolds, we'll make sure. With, through the festival, but also our rec department uses them for the, the restrooms that we have. So I'm sure yeah. we can probably work with them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Answer your question. Anything else? I just wanted to say that I like that you and the recreation director met on this date and that it's going to be the community garage sale that same weekend for the um, through uh, Saturday, July 29th, because that was what I heard such positive feedback about last year, your event, but also that it was everything going on. Mm -hmm. So people could go from one spot to the other, and as hot as it was, a lot of people really took advantage of that. So. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I know there was some miscommunication last year with um, what was going on, and hopefully this year, this letter being sent out from me to the businesses, hopefully that can clear any of that up, and then they can just contact me personally yeah. and then go forward. And I am going to compile all the information that we put a map together, and then kind of a pull back. I was going to bring up. I will give it to council, um, and I kind of put up the one to get my work with print off. Oh, great. On that. So, a little different, but uh, I hope that that slight miscommunication last year I think it's great. Anything else? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. Good luck. Moving on to item number five, consideration of wellhouse surge protection. Mr. City Manager. City Council is scheduled to consider awarding a contract to install surge protection at our well houses. Uh, the city operates seven groundwater wells as part of our water supply. Uh, and each site is unique, but generally have a well pump motor, variable frequency, frequency drive, communi communication equipment, and chemical feed pumps. Um, the DEQ uh, conduct semi-annual inspections of our water system. They noted that uh, there was some potential there for uh, problems with due to electricity or spikes. Uh, also, we've identified that. And uh, Jim had uh, got quotes from different companies. Uh, the low bid was Ainsworth Electric in the amount of 
hundred and forty dollars uh, and we do have money in our funds uh, for repairs uh, such as this throughout the year very good is there a motion I'll make a motion to authorize Ainsworth Electric to install surge protection at the city seven well sites with the expenses charged to the appropriate line item contractual services water production and water fund support it's been made and supported discussion <clears throat> we never had any of these before no. Anything? <coughs> no. no. The, the risk, primary risk, is like a lightning strike. I mean, a, right. It's very expensive to replace a motor or VFD that John mentioned. So, this cost in total for all the wells would be less than the cost of one. Yeah, that's what I was reading. Yeah. I was surprised we never had it before. I guess is yeah. why when I saw that. I wonder why we never had. Or uh, yeah. We assume we never had a recommendation by right. those that service our. I'm, well, I'm sure. yeah, I, I couldn't say if we have or haven't or, or yeah. why we have or haven't. I mean, things do change as far as uh, right. understandings of what causes things. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll be protected now, hopefully. We're kind of lucky. <laughs> and we had nothing. Yes, we are. <laughs> Very lucky. Yeah, 20000 to fix it. <laughs> Anything from the audience? Back to the table. Nothing else? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number six is consideration of sweeper repairs. Mr. City Manager? The city's 2008 Elgin uh, street sweeper is in need of repair. Uh, the street sweeper, uh, Street sweepers are a somewhat delicate piece of information or equipment, uh, considering the harsh environment that they operate in. On January, the sweeper was taken into Bell Equipment, uh, the Michigan dealer for Elgin products, and the only authorized repair facility in the area. Uh, and they kind of provided us with a list of things that needed to happen. Um, we had some problems here at the end of the year with it, and uh, is in need of these repairs. Uh, as the this is the only. Um, authorized repair facility it would be a uh, waiver of the purchasing ordinance and a uh, <coughs> roll call vote tonight mm -hmm. okay thank you is there a motion i make a motion to waive purchasing ordinance requirements on the basis of a sole source supplier and to authorize bell equipment to complete recommended repairs to the street sweeper for the estimated amount of six thousand one hundred thirty two dollars with the expense charged to the appropriate line item equipment repairs dpw general general fund support what's been made and supported discussion this is uh this repair is in addition to the, the boom cylinder uh, I, ha about approximately half of the cost is for what i would call normal wear and tear items which are the cylinders the air cylinders and then the other half is related to a, some damage that was sustained while using the machine okay um but in the schedule of bills tonight we had um we had boom cylinder oh there was a uh, that's for a different piece of equipment the sewer vector had an issue oh that was the vector yeah vector. oh okay i'm sorry i thought that was the uh same piece of equipment okay this has held up pretty well since we bought this one but yeah yeah and that one i believe we emailed out to council those were emergency repairs due to the vector needed right. mm -hmm. for oh yeah emergencies so yep yeah no we understand that we we can appreciate you don't need to wait for us to that the sewers out <laughs> yeah that piece of equipment <laughs> <laughs> yeah we, we get it fixed when, when yes. it needs to be fixed absolutely absolutely okay any other questions or comments on uh, the repair here any uh, audience comments back to the table all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye aye, aye. against oh call. i'm sorry yes roll call i even have it circled here roll call please <laughs> green yes before yes Nostrovich. yes Rindell. yes ricks yes warren yes and allen yes motion passes item number seven is consideration of board appointments to the edc and the planning commission mr city manager Council is scheduled to consider making two appointments, one to the EDC board and one to planning commission. Uh, the appointment to the EDC board is a reappointment of Al Manesi, and the uh, other is uh, for a new appointment of Bob Matrizak to the planning commission. Thank you. I would ask council that they would uh, approve the reappointment 
of Al Manasi to a six year term on the EDC. Is there a motion? So moved. Support. Motion been made and supported. We had to twist his arm a little bit to get him to finally fill out. It's been a year. <laughs> <laughs> but according to the charter, they're on until. Yeah. And he had been <laughs> showing up for the meeting. So yes, yes. He just yes. hadn't filled out his paperwork. <laughs> so uh, he finally came around and uh, filled it out, which we're very happy that he did. Uh, he's uh, very good on that board. So any other comments? I just have one more thing. It's I appreciate, because as I said on the board, to have a mixture of residents and business owners on it, it really provides a well-rounded perspective. Yeah, so. absolutely. Absolutely. Any comments from audience? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. I'd also ask that you would confirm my appointment of Bob Bajrak to the Planning Commission uh, to fill a term that expires uh, this June. Is there a motion? I make a motion to confirm the mayor's reappointment of Bob Matrazak to the Planning Commission to fill a vacant term at the expiration date of 6-30-2017. Support. Motion been made and supported. Any other discussion? It's kind of Bob to uh, step up, fill that vacancy. Uh, and actually, uh, it's a nine-member nine board, and we just probably for the first time in the 18 years I've been on Planning Commission, we came to a 4-4 vote, mm -hmm. so it did not pass. So um, it was uh, nice that Bob st stepped up. He had heard what had happened and gave me a call and said, I'm ready, because he's, he's talked before about getting involved in the community on one of our boards and uh, timing was right this time around so um, we'll have our ninth member on the board that shouldn't happen again hopefully so, so then he's got to re-up again in June yes yeah yeah if he I didn't know if he, <laughs> if he likes it, if he likes it yeah. yeah it's kind of cool because you know serve for five months if you don't like it you can get off <laughs> he's filling out somebody else's term and so. yeah I think it's uh, Doug Penzine's Doug's, term, yeah. you know, yeah. since yeah. Doug passed. Um, we've been uh, waiting. So, okay. Um, any other comment on the appointment? Any comments from the audience? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Moving on to the city manager's comments, sir. The cable coordinator, Jason Robbins, and I did meet with Comcast this morning, uh, went through kind of what's been the holdup and, and uh, get everyone back on the same page, uh, meet with some new people there that are heading up their engineering department, which was part of the issue. Uh, we have a uh, March 1st uh, going live date with our Channel 6. Uh, the rest of the equipment should be uh, delivered to Comcast this week. Very good. Uh, give them a week to put it in and a couple weeks to kind of let Jason get used to the equipment and start sending out some you know, tests with them and make sure it's all going to work. Uh, and so we kind of uh, put March 1st as our, that will be the date we go live with, with our Channel 6. Very good, very good. Um, I also, uh, in your mailboxes tonight, if you haven't already picked them up, uh, I did print off, we, we talked at the workshop about the different um, on-site training that might be available for us uh, through the MML. So I did print out their on-site on training catalog I put a star next to some of them that I think are more the most appropriate to uh, the boards and commissions. Um, certainly, if you take a look at it, if you see others that you want me to investigate, I'd uh, be happy to do that. But take a look, let me know what you think on the ones I kind of marked, and then I'll follow up with MML on uh, when we could do that. Uh, I'll also probably uh, at your next meeting or in the packet going out to you have the same catalog that has the online training. Uh, they're two different so I'll get John, one question because yeah. we talked about that in the workshop about uh, the possibility of inviting other organizations like ours uh, that would benefit by a class like that do they they it's a one time fee it doesn't matter if there's one or 500 there does it I believe so in, in the past when we've had it I think it's a pretty much a one-time fee there might be a small fee for materials yeah. but it, you know usually it's a the, the the largest portion of the cost is for the the person teaching the class and that doesn't change yeah. you might have minor copying charges okay. for for materials okay i talked to a school board member yesterday and uh 
he said that he definitely would be and he feels other school board members would be very interested in coming to okay. uh, that depending on the topic but if it's yeah. open meetings act and and uh, some of those type things uh, yeah. boardmanship and whatnot yeah. he'd, they would probably be interested in coming also so and maybe the townships around us would be the same and our own commissions right yeah in the past i know we've done a saturday um and that brings up a point i'll probably send out an email to the council uh, you know i don't know if a, some saturday in march would be too soon but then after that you're going to get into budget workshops and you're you know we'll have a lot more special meetings through april may mm -hmm. so i'd either think one thing and i'll like i said i'll email it out but either try to get it up and going in March or wait until maybe June mm -hmm. uh, one of those two so uh, but I mean certainly you could also do a Saturday in April or May but I just know we're already asking you to come in for a lot yeah, of budget yeah. workshops and so, baseball little league yeah soccer, so so soccer. so let let me know on what you feel on yeah. on what month a Saturday may work may work best okay. do you have anything else sir uh, that's it okay moving on to council comments um, Michael um, just really enjoyed the uh, Winter Nice Festival that happened this past weekend. A lot of uh, activity around town as well. And then also I uh, want to thank Al uh, Manesi for volunteering to come back to the EDC and then also uh, Rob Majerzak as well. I also noticed on his application he's very interested in other boards as well. And we have a opening on the Wellhead Protection Area Appeals Board which I'm which I'm sitting on as well and with the uh, passing of formal council member uh, Jan Hunt and former mayor mm -hmm. perhaps it's not a lot of work in that so mm -hmm. maybe we could approach him and see if he wants to jump into that as well yeah I thought we'd set the hook okay <laughs> <laughs> and that is his background he right, is exactly. uh, water right, uh, yes. water sewer for I believe yeah. the city of so New Baltimore he'd, correct so he'd be uh, perfect for that yes he would be yeah, yeah. So we'll uh, we have a meeting Thursday night okay, good. so we'll we're definitely going to be talking about that they yeah. don't know that's dangerous when they write those type I know, of things I know. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis I uh, just um, uh, agree with Mike and everything and uh, this weekend um, at the school they got the wrestling districts so there'll be 16 schools at uh, Richmond at Richmond Ooh. and then yeah. also the following weekend is regionals uh, wrestling which will be the same amount so there's you know, at Richmond at Richmond so so it'll be uh, it's becoming a yearly thing we've been uh, bidding on it and getting it each year so but it brings a lot of people to the community so hopefully they visit the businesses and absolutely uh, help out absolutely very good are both pardon me are both of those just Saturday events or Saturday events on, on the Friday 11th or? and the 18th okay so again if the uh, police want to stop by like they have in the past yep. it's always uh, nice to have their presence there okay Jamie nothing further to add Emily I just also would like to say what a nice time it was with the winter fest and uh, to thank all the sponsors that helped put on all the great activities throughout the city mm -hmm. John I have nothing to mr. Rindell I'm good good <laughs> I thought Emily would mention uh, and Mike wasn't I don't think he made it uh, in time but the outstanding uh, chili, chili that was presented by yes. the uh, good old days family this oh, year sorry yes on behalf yes. of the good old days family taking first place by the way oh, uh, nice. between the Lions Club and the Moose Club and the uh, although I think that's rigged because the <laughs> the things each year the other one won <laughs> but yeah we'll take the win <laughs> but it was a lot of fun we enjoyed it Parks and Rec did a, a nice job Margo sure did a did. very good job and all of her helpers uh, did a very nice job so uh, um, good times moving on uh, to the calendar today being January or February 6th we have a uh, do we have a BZA meeting no they did not no, file no, okay we didn't get everything so yet. we will have a planning commission meeting on the 9th of February at 7 o'clock right here at City Hall at seven o'clock we uh, we have an advertisement here for the Richmond High School trap shooting club uh, they're having a bowling uh, fundraiser uh, this is uh, this this coming Saturday February 11th that is Saturday mm -hmm. yeah uh, this coming Saturday February 11th from 9 30 p.m. to 11 30 p.m. at strikers on Armada Ridge $20 per bowler and uh, includes games and uh, shoot rental and um, it's a 50-50 raffle there's various things going on 
uh, to support this trap shooting club, which last year was their first year. Um, I believe there's about seven uh, schools that They've host. They've added more this year. Have they? Yeah. Good, good. So it's, it's uh, something that uh, uh, one of our officers, I believe, um, yes, Fred McCallamore, one of our uh, police officers, volunteers his time as coach, and they also have to purchase all of their ammunition. So oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a worthy fundraiser. He does a nice job volunteering. Yeah. So that's this fi uh, this Saturday, February 11th, at Strikers Bowling Alley, starting at 9:30 p.m. for the fundraiser. I have tickets if anybody needs them. Oh, okay. Nathan shoots on that team. Does he? Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. All right, so then uh, that is uh, the 11th. We move on to next week. The Cable Commission will be meeting at 7 o'clock on the 14th here at City Hall. Wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day on the 14th. And two weeks from tonight will be the next regular scheduled City Council meeting. TIFA will be meeting on the 22nd at 7 o'clock here at City Hall. Was there anything else that we needed to add to the calendar right now for the month of February? Okay, moving on. There is no closed session this e evening. Is there any other business of the City Council this evening? Being not, motion to adjourn will be in order. Make a motion to adjourn. Support. Motion been made and support. There's no discussion. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. Thanks for being with us.